All right, in this video, I'm going to solve uh, another differential equation. So here we're going to solve dy dx plus e to the x plus y equals 0. And again, with a differential, uh, a separable differential equation, we kind of want to put the x's on one side and the y's on the other. You know, obviously it doesn't matter which side which is on. So I'm going to start off by writing this dy over dx. I'm going to subtract the, uh, the e to the x plus y to the right side. So I'll get negative e to the x plus y. So again, somehow uh, we have to get you know, uh, all the y's on one side. So we're going to have to somehow you know, break this thing up. And the way that we're going to sort of break it up so that we can move things around is, well, uh, I could write e to the x plus y as e to the x times e to the y, right? If we have like bases, we would add the exponents and we would get e to the x plus y right back. Uh, so sometimes people, it seems like, get a little, uh, you know, feel a little uncomfortable, don't quite recognize this. It's certainly common to have like bases and write them together. But again, we can always, uh, you know, sort of go backwards and break them up. So that's all we're doing here. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides here by my dx. So that's going to give me negative e to the x times e to the y times dx. And now I want to get, again, sort of the y's over to the left side. So I can simply divide both sides by e to the y. And I'm going to write that as 1 over e to the y dy. We've got negative e to the x dx. And I'm going to do one more thing, so uh, because eventually, I mean, our goal here is to integrate this. So the uh, 1 over e to the y, I'm going to write that as e to the negative y dy. And then we've got negative e to the x dx. And now this is kind of a good place. Things are, are separated out. We've got our y's on one side. We've got our x's on the other. So now um, we're just simply going to have to integrate both sides. So I'm going to integrate the left side, e to the negative y dy. I'm going to integrate the right side, uh, negative e to the x dx. So to integrate uh, the first side here, you know, these should be hopefully relatively straightforward integrations. Um, on the left side, we could do a u substitution. Let u equal negative y. Uh, du is going to be negative 1 dy. And again, I think you know, we're replacing positive dy, so I'm just going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So if we rewrite this, we would simply get, um, we would have e to the u, again, because we're replacing negative y here with u. So we would have e to the u. dy is being replaced with negative 1 du, so I'm going to pull the negative out front. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. I'm just going to pull the negative out front. And now we can integrate uh, both sides. So on the left, the negative 1 comes along. The antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u. Again, on one side or the other, we just have to stick our plus c. So I always just stick it on the right side. We'll integrate. We'll get e to the negative, uh, well, excuse me, we'll get negative e to the x. I'm going to stick my plus c on that side. Um, I'm going to replace, again, the fact that u here is simply equal to negative y. So I'm going to plug that in. So we'll get negative e to the negative y um, equals negative e to the x plus c. And if we want to, we can multiply both sides here by negative 1. So that will give me e to the negative y equals positive e to the x minus c. And again, this constant is really kind of an arbitrary constant anyway. Um, so the sign on it, in a sense, is irrelevant. But uh, one other thing too on these, if we can, if we, if we can usually solve for the independent, or excuse me, if we can solve for the dependent variable, which in this case is going to be y, if we can solve for the dependent variable, we we typically do that. So I can take the natural logarithm of both sides. I'll take the natural logarithm of the right side as well. Let's see, the natural logarithm of e to the negative y is just going to be negative y. On the right side, we have the natural logarithm of e to the x minus c. Be careful. Uh, remember, if you have pluses or minuses inside of a logarithm, you can't break that up or simplify it. So we're just going to have to leave the right side alone. 
Last but not least, I'm just going to multiply both sides by, again, negative 1. So I'll get negative uh, ln of e to the x minus c. And to me, that would be uh, a, nice, uh, uh, a nice solution. You've expressed everything in terms of the dependent variable y. And that's all there is to it.